Hi guys, it's Miss Caitlin from the Bradley Public Library and I'm here today to show you how to do this week's messy art, which is messy campfires. This is one that my daughter did this morning. So first what you're gonna need is a piece of white cardstock, or you could do black so that it's at night, whichever is fine. You're going to need some sort of brown paper. You could use brown construction paper. I have, I really like to use scrapbook paper sometimes. So I have some scrapbook paper. You could use a brown bag. Anything brown will work. Then what you're going to need is scissors because you're going to take the brown paper and you're going to cut out strips of it to make sticks for your bonfire. This would be great cutting practice for kids if they're ready for scissors. The sticks don't have to be perfect. Sticks aren't perfect in real life, right? I'm gonna grab one more. Let's do this one. And once you cut the strips, you can cut them into shorter pieces. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna do mine differently. This one I'm gonna make short pieces. And this one I'm gonna cut mostly in the middle. So now you're gonna take some glue. You could use a glue stick, depending on the age of the kids and what you prefer. And if you're using scrapbook paper, just double check that you're gluing the right side. Sometimes it's different colors on the back than the front. And you're gonna take these and you're gonna glue them just like a campfire. Make a little teepee out of them and just throw them in a bundle. However you want your campfire to look is fine. getting glue all over my hand, but that's okay because this is messy art. I think I need just, we'll do two more. We'll do this one and this one. I like this piece of paper because it has some green in it and it almost looks like there's some leaves in my campfire. Okay, so now I have my campfire base. So now I have two sticks. These are dolly rods. You could use chopsticks. You could probably use pencils. You really don't have to have the sticks. I think it's just easier for little ones to maneuver the marshmallows. So you're gonna take your marshmallow you're going to poke the stick into it, kind of twist it in there. You don't want to poke past the front. I have two because I have two colors and I don't want to mix my colors just yet. So then I took two clear cups and I put yellow and red washable paint in there. Acrylic is fine if you're brave enough. Now I'm going to start with red. Now you can do anything you want with this marshmallow. You can dab it, or you can kind of swirl it. The possibilities are endless. I think I kind of like the dabs a little bit better than the swirls. Hmm. So there's my red. Just gonna let that rest in the cup. <clears throat> now I'm gonna do my yellow. This would be a great opportunity to talk about how red and yellow mixed together make orange.
if you really want a lot of yellow, you might want to do just a tiny bit of red after you do yellow first because it's looking like my yellow doesn't want to go on top of my red. I have to do quite a bit of globs for it to do that. Any way they paint their campfire is fine. This is all about the process and having fun and getting a little bit messy. Don't want to forget to connect my campfire. Just swirl it down here. Some swirls. And there you have it. And there's my campfire. I hope you guys have so much fun making these. We'd love to see the pictures. You can leave them in the comments. You guys have a good day. Thank you.